recording now. Welcome everyone to another Wednesday night and what's new in non-duality? Absolutely nothing. So I wanted to read out of an incredible book I've never read, which is on, ha on having never left. <laughs> so I'm seeing the, the, the thing before the uh, chapters. So here, uh, I like this because this is a, this intimates something with me by Nizagadatta Maharaj. You don't know who he is. He was the, he was the focus of that book. I am that. Yeah. So when I speak my words, I am not speaking to your mind at all. I am directing my words directly at consciousness. Be quiet. I don't want to tell you what that means. No questionos. <laughs> no. Be quiet. And, the, and let the words do their work. Yeah, not bad, eh? And this one I like here. People are scared to empty their minds. Hoang Po. Fearing that they will be engulfed by the void. What they don't realize is that their own mind is the void. There you go. So, uh, tonight's topic is non-duality, which is the negation of duality obviously yeah so can you negate duality from new dual from duality no can you do wait can you negate duality from what we call non-duality yes yeah you're always seeing from non-duality you're seemingly most of the time looking from duality yes but you're always seeing from non-duality. So in the seeing from non-duality, you see duality. You see the claiming of a verb to imply a noun. Yes, you, you're, the whole narrative in one's head. You can see it. At least you can see the basic blueprint or foundation. It doesn't matter about the specifics, yeah? It doesn't matter if it's 400 square feet or 4,000 square feet. It's the same frame, the same framing. Yeah. So there's all there is is activity, and the mental state claims the activity to imply a noun. Yeah. The one who was doing the activity or the one who was done to by the activity. This is the stubborn theme of the narrative that for some reason or another we've been busily listening to most of these years usually because it's presented to be about us, as us, through us, by us, yeah? You would really have a much more discriminating position if it was Stanley that you were noticing Stanley's stuff in your head. But because it's called Paul, there's a sudden sort of trance that sets up, yeah? Because I really feel that trance is like the addiction, yes? The, addiction, the mental addiction to this idea of being a self, a long lasting, independent, separate entity. That's how it's pictured or held. But really what it is, is the representation of claiming, doing, seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, and touching. Yes, all of these activities are claimed. And then the story isn't much about the doing, but it's mostly about the doer. Yeah, the seer, the fearer, the feeler, the taster. Yes. So there's a huge emphasis and that emphasis, because it's an emphasis in duality, there's an under emphasizing. Yeah. So when there's something that's getting emphasized, there's some other stuff that's getting unemphasized. That's how it goes. Yeah. Just like in the course of miracle says firm in, in faith in this something else that we've made to be ourselves is the act of denial of what we are. Yeah. So the act of denial, is this is the dualistic movement when there's when there's faith in this something else that is that is presented to be us then that faith its opposite effect is an act of denial of what you are yeah this is the beauty of non-duality it's not saying see the one and do the other or do the the one and see the other it's seeing both 
both, yes? There's not you doing one, the one thing and it's not you not doing the one thing. It's just a negation of that noun, yeah? That seems to be implied or inferred before all the verbs, yeah? But the thing, the funny thing is, the claiming of it is after the verb. But what the claiming presupposes is pictured to be before the verb. Yeah. It's a it's an incredible move. So that's why I love when uh, they translated this statement in one out of many ways, Ramana Maharshi says it. They stated it as there's a presupposing. So pre, so when something's supposed, it's like presupposed, yeah. So when the head supposes me from the claiming of everything that's going on, that me is presupposed to the point where it feels like it's doing the shit that's implying it. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Yeah. It feels like, so when people, one of the common things you hear when people hear the message and they, they'll call me or text me or email me, whatever, and they'll say, I've been, I've been selfing all day, yes? or the selfing is driving me crazy. Do you see it there? Do you see the illustration? It's not in what's, what's said, it's the position, yeah? There's a sense of being the one that's being driven crazy, and then a sense of being the one that's driving something crazy, yes? That's the negation, is that sense of one, yeah? Don't get lost in... I should do it, I shouldn't do it. It's the idea of there's a someone that's lending it all that importance of the should and shouldn't, yes? The importance in us, the self-importance makes every decision hugely important. <laughs> so you see this, yeah? Maybe you see it with, with the help of a pair of glasses, like satsang, yeah? But after a while, you'll see it without the, the, the glasses you borrowed at satsang. You'll see it, yeah? Because it's really the eyes. Yeah. The, not the eyes, these eyes, but it's that awareness. The awareness is the seeing, yeah? And at a clear point, there's no need for glasses. Right now, because we call a pair of glasses our eyes, we need a corrective lens, yeah? So... We, we wear the, the lens of non-duality and the understanding that non-duality presents brings into stark contrast the misunderstandings we seem to live by, yeah? And so when the misunderstandings are null and voided, yeah, then there's, a, there's really no need for an understanding in a way, yeah? Because you're, beyond, you're before and beyond understanding. You are which you would love to understand, yeah? <laughs> That's the dilemma. Because you're it, you can't understand it. <laughs> so now we understand other things to have that sense of being it, yeah? So by the negation of the misunderstandings, we get a sense of being it, yeah? Just like that sense of self that was constantly being produced of being something that we're not, this sense of this sense of what we are doesn't need to be produced. It emanates, yeah? It's its own source. You're not fanning the flames. You're not blowing on the fire, yeah? So that sense of presence isn't something that's manufactured or reinforced. It's just felt. It's like a huge spacious availability, let's say, yeah? where you feel like you never get gypped, you're always here, not meaning Paul, but what we are, yeah? And as Nisargadatta said really nicely, I probably won't be able to find it now, but he talked about, you know, don't worry about the agitated mind because behind that is the awareness, yes? So when the mind shoots this way or contracts that way, stop calling it you. You're not contracting and shooting that way and going here and being connected and then being disconnected, that's not you, yeah? You are the under, the context, you are the screen, you're not the character in the movie. You may be in it, 
but even the in it is only going to be for 80 years or so <laughs> at the most. So could you really, could 80 years of being in it, could that be a declarative statement that I am it? No, 80 years ain't enough. <laughs> 80 years ain't enough. You can't buy that story. I seem to be longer than everything else I meet. I seem to be here to meet the shit that comes and goes. But that is coming and going, yeah? So if you have in a sense of traveling lighter, that it's going to grow on its own. It doesn't need our help. You just hear the message. Well, actually, there's a hearing of the message, and that's that sense. And then you'll see the claiming of that and see how it's presented as a hearer of the message. And now you have the eyes to see that, yeah? Where maybe before you didn't. Maybe you before you thought it was your authentic self finally realized that saw the message or saw the claiming. No, that claiming to be the seer of the claiming is the claiming of the seer. Yeah. It's the same head. You're not something that's arrived at or brought about. You are already here completely. That's why we miss it. Seriously. It's just like, it's just the idea of gravity we used to always use. You know, people explain the effects of gravity during the day and they call it a steep hill or the staircase. Yeah. Or that, you know, I had a walk, you know, uphill all day. It wasn't the hill. It's not the staircase. It's gravity. Yes. When you move this against this force of gravity, it stresses what we call the body. Yeah. It seems like I can't fucking breathe. This is heavy duty. But the fact is, no one even, you know, diagnoses it correctly. They blame it on the hill. They blame it on the stairs. So how are you going to know that? which you're constantly always affected by. Well, by its absence, yeah? So if you went into an anti-gravity chamber, you would know what it's, you would know the influence of gravity. That's the only way you're gonna get there. When you're constantly under the influence, you don't notice it. When you get relieved of it, then you notice the influence, yes? It's like if I was a kid and someone put a hand on me when I was born and it never left, lifted, and uh, therefore, I would never know, you know, it was not there. So I'm thinking I'm what I have stories of by why my right sleeve of the shirt is always longer than the left sleeve. And I got to get them tailored. And I have whole stories. This is wait, make grief. Maybe it's longing. No, as soon as the hands lifted, you know, it was a hand. Yeah, it wasn't grief or longing. You don't have a longer arm or a shorter arm. You had a hand on your shoulder. Yeah? How do you know? Because it was lifted finally. <laughs> That's the only way you know. So in this case, through negation, you get relief from that which is constantly seeking affirmation. You, the idea of you. It's another dualistic move. What is the head doing all day? It's reinforcing and affirming false evidence as being real. Yeah? It takes everything that's happening to actually vindicate its story that I'm real. Yeah? That which I'm not. That's an affirmation. There's a negation of it. So you use duality. Yeah? Sort of like when you do self inquiry, there's a sense of self that you're not that asks another sense of self that you're not, who are you? Yeah? And then when the one says, I'm me, the other one goes, who's that me? And then they usually both go bing, and there you are. There's a feeling of space. They negate each other. It's like the two gunslingers, one doesn't win. They both, they shoot each other at the same time. <laughs> and then once they're both down, then you see. When you only see one, 
it's just the other side of the other. That's all it is. Yeah. It's still a dualistic presentation of Anu. When you see both, there's neither. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. That's duality. And that's the negation of duality. Where does the negation negation come from? Not duality. It comes from what we use as a pointer called non-duality, or let's say our inherent state or awareness that's not aware of anything as other. It's just awareness, yes? We see what we're not from there. We're seeing it from there all the time. It's just when we see it from there, we think we're here. (laughs) We're thinking it's I'm seeing it, yeah? That's why it sounds like, why is this me talking to me all day? And why does it sound like it's trying to convince me while it's saying it is me? Why, how could they be on different pages? <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is me, the one that's convincing the me or the one who's being convinced by the me? Yeah, it's insane. Something's talking, yeah, to something, yeah? I would say to nothing, yeah? Our reaction to seeing that is we believe we're something being talked to by something. Yeah. It's a simple mistake, but if it's, if it's repeated and no one's repeating it, it's a repeating of it. Yeah. And the, the fact is, even when the needle is taken off from the album and put at the right song, the old song will keep playing that the needle's never been taken off the album. Yes. You can't. It's not going to give you the truth. Even when you are the truth, it's not going to say that. It will say that in some weird way. It's not going to say, finally, you got me. No mas. I surrender. It, it isn't. It's mechanical. It's just, if this goes, it goes. Yeah? If they're seeing, there's the idea of a seer. It's just the way it goes. So if your seal's still here, it will still be acting out, yeah? It'll still be claiming. If you're here, it's claiming, yes? It's not claiming without you, but it's you that it's claiming, really, yeah? So. You can see the whole thing in a minuscule five seconds of the head. You don't have to go to other universes. You comprise it all, yeah? This is not finally get over that mistake of trying to look for what you are with what you're not, yeah? Or as what you're not. Let, that's, in, if that, if the emphasis moves, it's pure seeing. Seeing what you're not from what you are. When the emphasis is on here, it's looking from what you're what you're not trying to find what you are. It's the exact same, yeah? It's the same, same. It's the emphasis. The emphasis is what what's, makes a sense of the horse is not in front of the cart, yeah? Is the horse in front of the cart? Yes. Has it been? Yes. Will it be? Yes. But when it's emphasized, it, it's taken to be behind the cart, yeah? So the same thing, what gets emphasized is what we're not at the expense of what we are. Even while from what we're not, we're talking about, we have a yearning to find what we are. It's not being used that way. The head is using it to reinforce what you're not. All that intensive yearning isn't bringing you to the desired location. It's reinforcing the false one you're seemingly living from now. So you see this, you don't have to see it in a great, a grand operatic uh, level, just dog shit day, yeah? You see how it is, how it, what it does, yeah? There's something going on, let's call it conscious contact, and then there's something that arises and claims that conscious contact and makes something that's nothing into two, yeah?
So yeah. You like the chimes in the background? Yeah. They, they seem to really blend good tonight. They were great. There you go. That's right. There's a we're trying everything now. Subliminal <laughs> messaging, fucking everything. Yeah. Freeze, you know, hearty handshakes, whatever we can do. You know. You arranged the wind really really nice tonight. <laughs> what? You arranged the wind really nice tonight. Thank you, yes. <laughs> A little stern, but soft. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Yes, yeah. Yeah, these things. These things really hold the the frequency. I've gone like through like fifteen rings of Saturn, and it was still vibrating. <laughs> and it comes across on Zoom really, really good for Zoom. That has a oh, problem with a, lot, with a lot of musical stuff. Oh, good. Well, hopefully. If you can tr control the volume, put the chimes up and put me down. <laughs> and turn up the chimes. <laughs> oh, were you talking? All I heard was chimes. Yeah, we couldn't hear anything. The, chime. <laughs> the chimes are the real deliverer of the message. So any questions tonight? Uh, go ahead and raise your hand if you want. I want to mention, uh, I remember really clearly when Z commented on that, uh, you know, what you're not asking another aspect of what you're not. But what, what he liked was that, you know, and when no one answers, instead of somebody saying me, when no one answers, that's the answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like this. I like this delivery of that. It's so amazing. It takes one extra question and there you, there you, where you already are, there you are. I mean, how hard is it? Who am I? Me? Who's that? <laughs> it's whole case crumbles. It's like, <laughs> I believe totally in something. Can you explain what it is? Oh, I have no idea. I just believe totally in it. Uh, well, what is it that you believe in? I, no. <laughs> <laughs> the case totally cracks in a second. <laughs> You're fucking with me. <laughs> it's, the, it's the tiniest bit of observation. Just uh, it's so it's so paper thin. It's uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Stuart has his hand up. Hi, Stuart. How are you going? Good Stuart. Hey, Paul. Hey. hey. I, I haven't really, I haven't really got a question. Um, I'm just thinking, uh, you, you're doing yourself out of a job, Paul. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the job description. Yeah, but it's, it's different because everyone else is trying to get more people, keep more people. And so there's never an answer, but if you, you're getting the answer, <laughs> it's so... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the most but it's like the bizarro world upside down you know it's changed again you know that's right yes i i missed that page in the business uh class i was in yeah yeah yeah, yeah you, you jumped right in there and yeah, oh, I did the answer with time yes yeah so. yeah, yeah. Promise yeah. An answer, just not right now <laughs> yeah exactly yeah you sort of stretched it out you know <laughs> that's right <laughs> For about right. 20 years or something. That's right. I uh, know. Uh, uh, sorry. It's too late now. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a blessing for uh, for for us, that's for sure. It's a, such a blessing. Because <laughs> no one else is doing it. No one else is doing it, you know? No. Yeah. Well, that's true on a lot of levels. No one else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. No one else yeah. is doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I, I I feel for me sometimes I struggle to ask a question. You know, it's just um, it's, but that's okay. You know, I get no really. I don't need an answer in one sense. I don't. Uh, I I've had so many answers that weren't answers before. Yeah. Seemingly they were, but they weren't. You know. 
Yeah. See, when an answer, when the answers feed the questioner, that's not the answer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's all my answers were. They were just feeding me, reinforcing yeah. this. You know? Yeah. That's inevitable. Yeah. In this in this room of mirrors, that's the inevitable reflection you're going to run into sooner or later. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Realize. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's funny. It's, the question. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 it's uh, I think it's funny in one sense too because it 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 encompasses all areas of this physicality as well. Yeah, like health or uh, health or not health or. Uh, uh, what food to eat, what food to eat, you know, and it's all a big guessing game and there's no answers in it. There's not. Yeah, well, you know what happens if you look at when in America, when you were young, when you were young, not knowing it, that the Apple business, the Apple, you know, Apple business had a lot of lobbying. So they had a thing, oh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So, <laughs> or, yeah with milk everyone drink a quart of milk a day and then yeah. five years later right apples are terrible for you milk is, it just yeah, goes exactly. it yeah. just who has the money yeah uh, to the you know the broadcasting yeah 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 <laughs> well in in the uh, in the last probably five years i've gone on all these different diets and i'm pretty old now but I, I sort of, my first diet that I changed from my diet, the normal diet was like I went, complete, for whatever reason, I went completely just into eating fruit for about two yeah. years, just fruit, you know? And, uh, and then it went on from all these different stuff and stuff and stuff and whatever. And, 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 um, but uh, now I'm stuck with pooping about seven or five times a day. Like, <laughs> I didn't want this. Is it? Seven or five? Five or well, seven. I, it was seven yesterday and five the day before. And it's like, I don't <laughs> want this. Like if any journey I make, where's the toilet? I've got to plan it out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Hey, listen, if you were on a, like a deserted island, that would probably be the diet. Yeah. True. Fruit yeah. Only. But you're in Australia, bro. There's Nutella. Yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nutella and coffee does it get any better? You know. It's like, there you go. You can't live without that. That's the yeah. Australian uh, fucking DNA. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But that, but that, but there you go. Looking for answers has led me to that, and it's like that's because I don't know. You know, this yeah. this can't work out. Shit, mate, it can't. You know. Yes, I'll tell you. Uh, but anything we're speaking of, there's no suggestion in it. It's more of a principle. But, you know, I found that the head has a vested interest in health that's not healthy. Yeah. 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 I just I found agree. that out early. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. incredibly extreme with macrobiotics where I didn't drink. Uh, it was an interesting uh, regimen, food regimen. And uh, you didn't drink anything except bancha tea, you know, which is twigs, really. So mm -hmm. you would go into a sauna and you wouldn't sweat. <laughs> there was no water content. In you. You'd be in there at 220. Nothing was happening. <laughs> and all it concentrated all my attention on was the small intestine. I was just walking yeah. around feeling how I was all day. It was yeah, insane. Yeah. It was yeah. insane. So as as the years have gone by i don't do shit really about it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i i think that's that's I pretty much it. yeah i think now yes. like if i go if i go out for a walk it's like oh, what's happening down there you know where's the toilet and it's sort of like but i <laughs> but nothing i can do with that no, I, we don't need any more details to it it's let's go okay right yeah, yeah. okay that's i it. understand but, yeah. that it's, it's sort of like when we were out as a drug addict you back then you'd know every phone booth in san francisco yeah so you stop and call your dealer <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah between yeah. the dealer's house and you you knew everywhere to stop to call them yeah yeah <laughs> it's insane yeah. so yeah. yeah but that but that's just for me it's just it is what it is now and uh and I know it's not me, and uh, it can play out when it plays out, you know? Exactly. That's the great news. This isn't really about changing anything. Yeah. 
It's because all the desire to change a lot of shit is based on the one that we're not. Yes. When you lose interest in that, you're more like in AA, we call it, you know, you fit yourself around circumstances instead of trying to fit circumstances around you. Yes. So exactly. It's, exactly. Just a, it's just, again, another bizarro world thing. You know? Yeah. 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 So, but I, there was a funny thing once. Uh, there was an article of these seven teachers that were all in different, uh, supposedly well respected in their in their uh, careers. Yeah, all about different things. So there was one guy who was like a fruitarian or something, and he got killed by a coconut falling on his head. There was another lady that wrote about how to die peaceful. You know. Die, death, dying and death, whatever. And she went out kicking and screaming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Each one of them was, it, they were, <laughs> their end was an ironic uh, <laughs> uh, positioning of what they seem to have been a master of. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> It would have been fine. It would have been funny if I was like a a car tire salesman and I got run over by a car twice <laughs> <laughs> by the tires. I worked for yeah. Goodyear and the tires were Goodyear. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, grateful. Now I appreciate I appreciate that, and and it's really good to be able to laugh about this stuff because it's such a. Um, um, I don't know, it's such uh, of uh, yeah. I don't know, mate. I don't know, it is what it is, and uh, well, it usually leans, lends itself to seriousness, it does. Yes, the way yeah. we view what we call spirituality, you know, it's let's get serious, yes, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. it needs a little levity, a whole lot of levity, yeah. uh, a whole yeah. lot more. I think you bring that, you bless me with your levity. I'm laughing more than what I've ever done. There you go. That's a, that's good. Yeah. I feel that's that's a sign of success. Yeah. I do. Yeah, lovely. And I thank you. For, thank you, Paul. Yeah, you're Pleasure to meet you, Stuart. Yes. You too. Thank you. He won't stop laughing. What's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Stuart. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else want to raise their hand? All right, can I read something from Ramana Maharshi then? It's more of the thing we say a lot. It says, there is no greater mystery than this. Ourselves being the reality, we seek to gain reality. We think that there is something hiding our reality and that it must be destroyed before the reality is gained. It is ridiculous. A day will dawn when you will yourself laugh at your old at your past efforts that which will be on that day you laugh is also here and now very nice yes i think when he when you write read a lot of his teachings from other people that knew him this idea is always prefaced with the greatest mystery or the problem. There's an emphasis on it. This idea of how, as being reality, we can go to these incredible lengths to attain reality. There has to be an activity, obviously, that's doing something. And we may have a very shallow like sense of it, but very it's sort of like the fish has no idea it's water it's in. Yeah, it just doesn't. So this is why the understanding of non duality, if if it the sense I had was it was the real it was the first real piece of mail I got 
a lot. <laughs> and it just told me, you are what you're looking for. <laughs> you know what I mean? Finally. Finally, really. Being not of time, it's not about time. Yeah. Being not of time, it's not about time. It's not about more. It's not about further. It's not about farther. It's not about higher. It isn't. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't stop when you get high. It just turns for more height, yeah? It doesn't stop when you get further. It just starts demanding more furtherness, yeah? I'll tell you, those engines that I, I never had heard their absence got shut down through satsai, yeah? I have no fucking interest in spirituality at all completely zero i mean we always joke if you took a blood sample and you had taken a test to see how much spirituality there was in me it would be 0.000 it's all been drained out of me <laughs> nothing all the shit that i did never led to that it was when i stopped doing shit it was obviously right there yeah now you can't stop doing shit. You can't, you can't. But there's a stopping of that you that has a lot of the doing the shit in it, yeah? Yeah. And maybe you'll be the source of contentment and satisfaction that you've been seeking for. And what happens if this is truly a gateless gate? There's no toll booth. There's nothing you have to go through. And it's truly the open secret. Then it's in complete negation of what a secret secret is. Exactly. It's an open secret. It's readily available. There's no secret password or handshake. It's there, here. Yeah. The obviousness escapes us because we're being moved all day. The head is agitated. If we've hooked up everything to the head, that which is hooked up to the head will seem to be agitated. When it's not its nature, it's the head's nature. And as it says in that famous Zen uh, thesis, faith mind, you can't use activity to arrive at peace. It's just more activity. Yeah, there you go. You don't see the conundrum. It's not, it's not applicable to only one continent out of the seven continents. It's not applicable only, only to this cultural upbringing. No, it's a beautifully clear principle. You can't use what you are to find what you are. There's the clear, there's an unclarity. There's an, there's a confusion about what we're not, we are. Something that's, there's a, I hate to say something, there's a reliance on something that sees us as a thing, as a doer, as a feeler, as a taster, as a teacher. And so taking ourselves to be that, we try to convince it through doing and teaching and doing and that. And, so, and it finally shows its value by failing, really. And then you end up at non-duality. And then it explains to you why it failed, because you are what you're looking for. That's why it's failed. That's its value. If you keep trying to get the highest, most expensive telescopes to see you, the greatest value those telescopes will have is to fail you. So you realize you're what's looking through the telescope. Yeah. I feel like we're already at that point. Some of us, we've had it fail, we return it, and then we buy a, a similar product. With, and we're looking for a better warranty, but it fails us and fails us and fails us. 
that's love that's value yeah it's trying to tell you something you're it yeah you know it looks like sometimes your head will think well man something is withholding a little from me but the withholding of the little is giving you everything yeah the little shit you're wanting and craving and desiring being withheld is is an incredible service because if you don't get that little shit you'll see everything yes yeah so I swear, I remember the day, I haven't brought this up in a while. I was reading this magazine, it's probably still out there. It was a Buddhist magazine, beautifully done, Tricycle, called Tricycle. Very nicely printed, beautiful. And I used to get a subscription for for it. And then one day I was reading through the pages and they'd have little like, four page things and there was this one little editorial from a famous western meditation teacher i don't know who it was and he was talking about a strange phenomena he was having with his oldest students they were all getting back to him and said telling him nothing's happened yeah as soon as i read that i fucking just pulled the emergency brake (laughs) i cut off that bus because these people had put in a lot more time and effort than I did. And they just revealed to me, nothing happened. (laughs) Okay, thank you. Cancel the subscription. (laughs) I know there's a point in all of us of being convinced. I know it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes to arrive there. That arriving there erases all the time you thought it took to get there. Being convinced is a beautiful condition. Yeah. The struggling and the squirming subside. Yes. You're just laying on the operating table. You're not getting up. You're not paying doctor. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I have, I believe the satsang is a vehicle to, to deliver that convincing. I do. I see it in my own experience. I haven't done anything in a way in the idea of a spiritual betterment since I went to satsang. The whole enchilada just unrolled. (laughs) Yeah, it's just that simple. Yeah, the beans and the rice were put to better use, (laughs) tell you the truth. Yeah, that's why I'm here too, because I believe this is actually more than enough satsang. Not for the hearer, but through the hearing of it. The hearing of it, yeah. Just like the hearing of the chimes. The hearer of the chimes is going to leave still thinking it's the hearer of the chimes while not hearing any chimes. The hearing of the chimes, yeah, is different. The hearing of the message is different than being a hearer of the message. Yes? Yeah. This message reverberates much longer than the chime frequencies. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's been it's been our baseline every every moment since we were conscious. Yeah, it's been this I am. Uh, Yeah. Being attracted to the other notes doesn't take away this note. The other notes would have you believe that to be true, but it isn't. Yes. The other notes can be playing and it's still that note. That bass note, it never gets interrupted. It's always there. Yeah. One pluck of that can change you. Yeah. You can be convinced by one note of that song. You can. 
Seemed like that's what happened with Nizagadatta Maharaj. He was just some dude selling cigarettes or something. Had a teacher, the teacher delivered the message. He seemed to have faith in the teacher and therefore the message. And then Bamo, yeah. There he went. Something used him to get out something that has been, that's been helpful to so many people, the I am that, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't think he did any heavy lifting, really. I don't. It sounded like he just had faith in what he heard, and there it went, yeah. Yeah. So, anyone else, Mike, there? Uh, no hands showing, and, and while we're waiting, I. I'll mention that uh, when you mentioned, uh, you know, hearing versus the hearer, I went to a show last night that was a um, uh, Beatles songs, but there was a, a teacher, a professor who was explaining why the note, what the notes meant, the history, the group, how the group was getting on. And the guy had so much energy and enthusiasm, and it was the most I've paid attention to anything like for an hour and a half without a break. It was just phenomenal. And I was describing it to Carrie at the beginning, and he picked up on it right away, right? That the reason I was able to, to, to pay attention so much was that, you know, the, the love, for lack of a better word, that was coming through him that was, you know, totally uh, enjoyed here that, you know, if I were to see him as being so good at that, you know, I could be envious of, of his job or, you know, why didn't I ever become a musician or something like that, right? Um, but... It was just, uh, you know, just to be, you know, on on the note, you know, him, me, the whole thing. Uh, it was just uh, just amazing, right? An amazing example of that free, free, free sample. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, Gary has his hand up. Hi, Gary. Your ear, your uh, your ear things are working good. <laughs> I I gave up on them. I went back to the old kind. They work. I'll try them later. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks, Paul. I, again, I, I'm just sort of one note. I'm hearing one note tonight, and, it, and it's like that. I'm not sure I can say it. The one about, you know, you know, in the Bible, they have something about there's a peace that passes understanding. And often people say, like, with a sense of yearning about, Oh my gosh, you know, I wish it'd be so great to have that peace that pass understanding that's beyond me. But I guess what I'm hearing here is that like your your statement about agitation can't produce peace or quiet or serenity. And it's like agitation is what all of this is, the right, the left, the up, the down, the cop, the robber. It's all agitation. So that's not the piece that I pass as understanding. There's nothing, you, you don't have to check that out any more than to notice that it's agitation. Agitation yeah. can't hold peace, isn't peace. It's, it's not peace. <laughs> yeah. So these that's just for Yeah, these are understandings let's say, framed in non-duality. You let them loose by hearing it into the system, and then it illuminates the system. It's, it doesn't take the system to be the illuminating. It illuminates the system. And shit's revealed, yes? Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then the chips fall where they may. That's what happens. Yeah. And then you notice that, hey, man, the experiences I have may be similar, but having them is completely different now. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I want to say my butt is 
often I'm with other people and I, they speak with such confidence about their spiritual knowing of, of, a, yeah. of a type. And I find myself um, sort of sucked in. Like, oh, I got to get some of what they got because they seem so confident. And, and often what ex my experience is is sort of ephemeral. Not, nothing I can grab onto. I can't really point to anything. It's like I, you say, it's a negation. So, you know, I, I guess a, a failure would be to, to expect, you know, to be able to go up against these like um, good speakers who've got an answer for every single question and, um, you know, be able to, out debate them and never been a great debater. Um, I don't well, know. You know <clears throat> for me, the message isn't a topic to debate, it's an invitation. That's all. Yeah. That's all. And if the ears are hearing that way, far out. If they're not, they're not, you know? Supposedly, as Jesus supposedly says, for those who have ears to hear, yes, and eyes to see. So obviously uh, there's a moment in time that the timelessness seems to arrive, yeah? So yeah. who knows that? So yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you, it's sort of like, uh, if you go into a debate, you wanna have something. Yeah, I wanna and have nothing, See, the beautiful thing of having nothing is it negates the debate right away. <laughs> I lose. You, can't, you can't compare. You can compare apples to oranges, but you can't compare something to nothing. <laughs> uh, we have the debater here today. Uh, he hasn't said a thing in the first 30 minutes of the debate, but it feels like he's winning. <laughs> I won before the debate. <laughs> yeah. I know, bro. I don't know. Yeah. But I have, I have a lot of people I know. I don't see them much right now, but who are very adept at, spirituality have a lot of respect in there i mean big big uh yeah and they're incredible i just i just la love to let them go just let them go off mm. yeah and yeah. tell me about 1200 shamanism in korean zen or something you know it's great mm. yeah mm. yeah great i got scholars. nothing to say I'm all ears. I just listen. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? They could be right, but I don't care. <laughs> I seriously well, don't. <laughs> there's a lot more peace in this yeah. understanding than I found in the seeking of that, of their peace. Yeah, of course. The thing is, a lot of activities of the head lean into addiction. They do. So uh, addiction is yeah. a movement that finds form through vehicles. Yeah. And I believe mm -hmm. that in spirituality, there would be no addiction. You know, that's for street shit, you know, drugs and everything. But I was once again mistaken when I saw the addictive nature of the mental activity in spiritual activities yes it was as clean it was as plain as day yeah and the uh the wanting more and more and more more peace more tranquility more equanimity whatever yes it's just, more truth and then then that which seemed to be the staircase case to somewhere is the impediment really because you are where you're looking to get to yeah so but hey 
people are doing great and they're having great time. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 I just don't want to hang out with them that much. Well, there you go. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. I always love seeing you, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. For being a lifetime member of zenbitchslap.com. You don't have to have knowledge to be a lifetime member. <laughs> you're just, you're just uh, ordained that from the beginning. Lifetime member of zenbitchlife.com. I depend on that. Has, has a lot of fringe benefits. You may not see them yet, but they're, they're there. Don't worry. All right, All thanks. Right. thanks. All right, Mike. It'd be interesting if we could say in that in your situation, Gary, or in our situation, uh, I'm so happy it's working for you, and I'm so glad it failed me. <laughs> like, uh, completely, yeah. completely equal about that, right? <laughs> like, totally yeah, cool. there you go. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. Maybe that's a possibility. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because it's seeing it, yes? If you see it in an affirming way, it may be working for you. If you see it in a negating way, it may work for you. So, yeah. I like that. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I like that. A lot of people did a lot more than I ever did. So I could learn from them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, some of these guys have scholars that have put in years of study of stuff that I could never know. I never could yeah. catch up with them. Yeah, yeah that, well, that's the Pharisees, right? I and mean, that's the perfect example that, you know, Jesus you know <laughs> called them out well, they weren't too happy when people called them on it though i know but they really they were the ones that you were talking about that might have thought they were really they really were yeah. okay with what they knew and and taught right and somebody came along and you know said well maybe not <laughs> but in a weird way people don't usually It's, it's not necessary to attack the other idea. You just present yeah. another idea. Yeah? That's yeah, funny. I think that's I mean, better. Yeah, sometimes I get asked to speak at places on Zoom, and I've learned that I'll go to a Zoom of that group before, and sometimes I see these people who are broken and stuff, and now, based on themselves doing yoga and shit, feel so much better about themselves, and I tell the the runner of the thing, hey, I don't want to talk there. <laughs> Why would I want to rain on these people's parade? They're feeling right. better about themselves. They're coming out of a such a deep thing and they're getting self-worth through yoga postures far out. Fucking go ahead. Yeah, it's like kicking the crutch out from somebody who's <laughs> used yeah, to they're not ready to walk. It does. So what's the, you know, just to be right? You don't yeah. need a crutch. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I don't yeah, see it. I wouldn't appreciate it either. I don't see it that way, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, nice to see you, bro. Thanks, Thanks. Gary. No other hands up. Any hands want to go up? Amelia's making dinner. I hope so I hope so. I smell something, so that's usually a good sign. She was late and now she's making dinner. Yeah. She had to get food for the dog at Costco. Ah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Anyone how's, else? That's how's Fatso? Fatso is seeth is a seething resentment on four legs. Oh. <laughs> As only a cat can be. Oh. No, no. She, she's fine. She's disappeared now. I don't know where she is. But yeah. She's in a very unenviable position. She solely relies on me and Amelia <laughs> for all her affection. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it would be it would be it would be nice if she could you know spread out but she's a too cons she's not friendly she's a little too she believes in her anxiety about others. <laughs> yeah, you know. 
He just runs up. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, before we started the meeting, Bill said that cats hold grudges. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dogs too. Yeah. Cat. Sometimes we had this late. Uh, I don't want to go into it, but hey, anyone? <laughs> No. Nope. No? Well, let's say goodbye then. Eh? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, all right, Mike. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll see each other Saturday on the Zoom. We've got uh, Rawl. I think Rawl C. We got Gary. Always a pleasure. Alan. Nice to see Alan all. John Luna, a homeboy visiting from Long Island. Yeah, it's nice to see you, John, if you're still here. I see you, Paul. How you doing, man? Good to see Good. you. Good. We got Anish. There he is. Yes. Uh, we got Robert French. Always nice to see Robert. We got Kerry, the Hawaiian. The Hawaiian. Oh, I have good news. Yeah, I discovered um, I bought some coffee yesterday. Uh, the best coffee I've ever had in my life. These beans, they were like 29 bucks for a pound. They're grown here in Hawaii, but it's uh, I wish I could mail you some, but uh, I got some good coffee for you next time. Oh, great. Good. Good. Always looking for that. Yeah. Say hello to Judith for me. Here. She's here, man. She's here. She's oh, in the other house. Okay. Yeah. She's out here. We got James. James is uh is very close to another one of the squares. Yes, yeah, nice to see you, James. We got uh oh here she is. It's Miss Freedom, Janine, Freedom, Janine, Freedom. They're becoming synonymous. That's nice, eh? Yeah. We got Bill C. This is uh, what Captain Kirk looked like when he retired from the Enterprise. Yeah, there he is. No more universes to discover. I'll just sit here. <laughs> we got David S. from uh, Down Under. Always a pleasure, David. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Great, great, great appreciation to you, mate. It's, uh, this stuff really... Uh... Uh, it's changed my life a lot. Uh, it uh, helps me get through a lot of stuff. Thank you. Oh, great, bro. Yeah, well, we're not all here, but we're here together. <laughs> so we got a new. There she is. Nice to see you, Anu. Bryant. I've so I've met Bryant on the recovery meetings. Nice to meet you, Bryant. Yep. Just suck it in, bro. Yeah, let it, let it. Yeah. We got Kenneth, always a pleasure. Our Buddhist scholar residing in Vancouver. There he is. Oh, Judith, there she is. You're bathed in light, Judith. That's very nice. You're a, uh, whatever that's happening there. Yes. Yeah. Nice to see you. We got uh, Michelle C. Nice to see you, Michelle, again. Yep. We got on having never left, Stefan. Always a pleasure. Yeah. You know, everyone, everyone in these Zooms has, uh, has profound effects on, on me. It's very good. Yeah. And I, uh, yeah, I appreciate it a lot. We got Stuart, another Aussian. Yeah. Always a pleasure. He, uh, yeah. He comes from some of the twisted branches of Course in Miracles that I was in. <laughs> uh, those were the days. Kundalini trances. Inversion just, uh, of light. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I was, I was just—I'll be quick—but I was thinking about um, 
um, when I was doing the Course in Miracles for those guys, it was really great. And that energy in that room was amazing when uh, that music was going. Um, but then I'd come out and I'd be claiming everything as everything everyone else was, you know. Yeah. It's like yeah, you're the joining yeah. in the room where you lost yourself. You come out and you're claiming the whole damn thing, you know. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, it's if you're there, it's going to be there later. <laughs> it's just oh, the way yeah. It, no it just goes no, up. It's good to know it's not you, really. It's a good understanding. Yes. It is. Yeah. Very it good. was a, an amazing time for me. That was uh, that was um, uh, my my letter in the mail, first letter in the mail yeah. for sure. Yeah. But a lot of people I knew in that group got whacked pretty good. Yeah, yeah. They, Some... they had a detox when they left. They were their adrenals were shot and stuff. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. 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 All right, there's Miss Amelia. She's uh, she had a cooking show earlier. There she is. <laughs> she teaches Italian, cooks, yes, drinks Italian wine, yeah, and like most Italians, ends up with an Irish guy. <laughs> I don't know how it goes that way. So all right, we got Lucas. Nice to see you, Lucas. Uh, he's taking off his hat. That's nice. Nice to see you, bro. Susanna W. Yes, making a guest appearance. She was the season one winner, and now she's returned. Yes. Yep. She never got kicked off the island. <laughs> That's right. PK has gone to sleep. We put the wild beast to bed. That's good. Now that is a true demonstration of the power of satsang it was like it was like an elephant uh fucking knockout shot to put pk down <laughs> uh he's out like a baby angie nice to see you again thank you so much andy just Angie just appeared in a zoom and has never disappeared very nice yeah we got JP from Vietnam. Thank you, JP. Uh, let's see who else. I think that's about it. Hey, a pleasure again. I'll, I'll see some of you tomorrow with the um, recovery and then Saturday live meeting in Marin City, Susanna. Live meeting, one o'clock, Marin City. Come over. Nice. Uh, yeah. And it will be zoomed. See you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Good night. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to say about the uh, teaching some basic Italian to some of the people who are going to go to the retreat? Her mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> I want them all to know the word donate in Italian. Donate. <laughs> donate. 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 <laughs> We're going to chant that every morning meeting. <laughs> Paul, did she say do nothing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do nada, nada, do nada. <laughs> do nada, yeah. Sounds you like wanna, Do you want to talk about that yet, Amelia, or later on? Well, no, it doesn't matter. I want to make sure that the people that they sign up for the Italian retreat, um, they received an email from Mike. But, oh, well, yeah, for I don't know if there's that many here right now, but there will be a group email going out to introduce a cloud document that people can go to whenever they want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There'll be so a teaching of some Italian. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. If everybody wants to learn some Italian, I mean, since you guys are going to Italy, let's do it. Let's learn some basic Italian. Hmm. See. Si. See, who said C? I did. See. Okay. <laughs> ciao, ciao.